we have another TRF car to show you, but which one? Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends, and once again, thank you for stopping by. So I've got a new arrival to show you, it's a new inbox kit, it's quite a rare one, and in this video I'll explain why this one's rather special to me. So, as the majority of you know, obviously I'm a massive Tammy fanboy, um, but I'm also a big TRF fanboy, because these are the pinnacle of Tamiya. Um, and I was so lucky to get hold of these two cars. So this is a this is this the off-road car. So this is a TRF 201 with a Team Azari um, body shell. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then of course I've got my pride and joy, which is a brand new build by me, TRF 503. This was Tamiya's last um, four-wheel drive off-road buggy from 2014. Both got epic paint jobs, full TRF, and they're just absolutely awesome. Um, but I was never all about collecting all the TRF cars. It, that's not for me. I got the two that I really wanted. There's um, there's a, what, what was there? There's another three or four TRF two-wheel drive cars. Um, the 211, the X, the XM and those. They don't interest me at all for whatever reason. I'm just so chuffed I've got the original 201. Again with the four wheel drive, you know, I'm not interested in collecting the 501 or the 511. I've the 503 is the one. There's also the 502 which is shaft driven. Now that would be a cool add on to the collection because it's the only shaft driven car but it takes the same body shell. So when they're in the when they're in the cabinets, it's just going to look the same. There's nothing. If it if it was a little bit like the five eleven, where it had the different body shell, I may, I might be a bit tempted. Anyway, I digress. What I'm saying is, I've got a, I've got the two I really wanted, but there's always been another TRF car that um, I wanted, which I'm going to show you today. So, a little bit of a giveaway before I show you it. Um, as I said, I'm a Tamiya fanboy. I'm a TRF fanboy. I've also always been a touring car fanboy. Um, that was my go-to when I used to race. I last raced touring car from 99 till about 2002-ish. Um, I, I, I never raced a Tamir, unfortunately. I was running Schumacher's back then. Um, I've had a shed load of different touring cars from all the manufacturers. I love them. Obviously, the, the, the high-end touring cars are always full alloy bling, full carbon. And then when you go to different manufacturers, Tammy has got the blue alloy. What is a, a X-ray with the orange um, team Deroga? They had kind of a, a goldy colour. I even had the Hobeo. I think it was called a H2, and all that alloy was in green. Anyway, I used to collect these things, and I, I just think they look stunning. No body shells on them, just just in the cabinets. I also, Tamiya wise, I've also had um, TRF 416, I think I've had a 417, and I had the early TB range as well, the TB Evolution, if you know that one. I had the original brand new built TB Evo, and uh, I think I had a TB Evolution 2, maybe 3, I had one with the red alloy, I can't remember the name, the driver's name on it. Anyway, so yeah, touring car is my thing, so obviously, um, I, I want it, I needed to add a touring car, TRF touring car to my collection. Um, I'm also a massive Mark Reinhard um, fanboy. Now obviously Mark was a Tamiya driver for a, a while, um, a lot of years to be honest, and he was pretty successful. Tamiya were massively successful in the touring car scene in the early 2000s through to about 2007, 8, um, and they won a lot of stuff. Um, Tammy were always on the podium and then after around 2008-9 it kind of died off and they've never really regained that even though they've carried on with the touring car range and we're now on oops and we're now on the TRF 420. Again for me I kind of think it comes down to drivers it's a little bit like real life Formula One there's always there is the best cars but um it, it, a lot of it depends on your drivers and back of that period I, I should have done my research but obviously you had Mark Reinhardt and a little bit later on you had Lee Martin you know uh, and there was a couple of other top drivers and you know and that's when Tammy were winning stuff so it's a little bit of a shame they're not doing that anymore but you know hey ho so obviously you know it's a touring car you know I'm a massive Mark Reinhardt fan so um, let's have a look at what I've got so I'm super chuffed. I've got a brand new inbox TRF 415 MSXX 
Mark Reinhardt edition. Um, I'll put some pictures up now. Um, Mark obviously was a top driver. I found this picture, which I thought was, re I thought was really cool because it shows um, the off-road buggies he was racing as well. So you've got the TRF 511, you've got the TRF 201 in the middle, and then the um, touring car. I, can't, I don't know if that's a 415. Jud I'm thinking it might be a 416 because the 201's in there, so that kind of date range would kind of say 416. Even maybe a 417, not sure. Anyway, the 415 is Tamiya's most successful touring car. Um, I think it came out in around 2003, and then they did lots of different variants of it. This is a special Mark Reinhardt edition. They did two. They did a Mark Reinhardt edition on the 415 MSX. I think that was around about 2006. But with this car, I'll put the picture up of him at Mark on the podium. He actually won the Reed, the 2007 Reedy International with this car. So because of that, Tamiya brought it out as a special edition, Mark Reinhardt edition. So it's mega cool to have. Um, yeah, it's it just, this is the one I want. If I could have had any one, I would have tried to get the original, the very first TRF 414. But um, if you TRF guy, touring guys, touring guys will know it's like rocking horse per one. If you do find one, mega expensive. So I finally settled on this. Um, I saved up some money. I sold some stuff. Uh, I had the money waiting. And at the time when I didn't have the money, there were two or three of these on eBay. Now, they were doing silly money. Um, and I'm talking six, seven hundred, eight hundred pounds. I was never going to pay that for it, but uh, I thought once I've got the money, I can just keep looking. And I was probably going to go to about five hundred pounds for a new inbox one, which is a lot of money. Anyway, just just pure fluke. One night, I'm speaking to my buddy um, Stephen, um, and I'm telling him what I'm after, and he just sends me two links straight through, and he's well into this and the MS chassis. Anyway, there's one on. There's, if he sends me an RC Mart website link. And this is sat there for, I think it was about 360, 340 US dollars. I would like, I've never seen one that cheap. Just to give you a quick conversion, this has cost me, with shipping, probably about 290 to 300 quid. That's for nothing for this kit. So a massive shout out to Steve and can't thank you enough. Um, so obviously I couldn't click buy it now fast enough and then it was here within a week or two. Um, so what I'll do is, I'm not going to open this up because it's sealed and it's going to be a while before I build this thing. Uh, and we're going to do something special with the body as well, which I'm going to go into. But I'll put some pictures up now of what the 415 MSXX looks like. Um, for me, as I said earlier, it's it, everything's blue blue alloy, every part of it. And then any, anything that's not blue alloy is carbon. <laughs> so it's a real good looking thing, as you can see in the pictures. Um, Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you, um, in fact we'll just talk about it now. So a massive shout out to Yoro RC because when I got this, um, I contacted Yoro RC and I said, look, do you do body shells? I should have looked on the website, but obviously we do, we've got huge range. And uh, they said, yeah, look, we'll help you out. Um, tell us what shell you want and some wheels and tyres because this kit only comes with wheels, you don't get tyres. And then I thought, well... I looked at your RC and they had these Corellis, what I'm going to show you, all pre-glued already. So a massive shout out to your RC for um, don don donating both of those to the channel. As you know, your RC have got a huge website, All Things RC. can also be found, out, found on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. And I can't speak highly enough of them because they've been absolutely awesome to me. And um, yeah, that's my first part of call nowadays. Anyway, let's bring the camera over and I'll show you um, in detail what the, sh the shell I'm going for and what I'm going to do with it, what my plan is. And I'm also going to show you a really cool motor that I've got for this. Right, so this is a body shell um, I've gone for, as I said, kindly sent to me by your RC. So obviously it's bit of designs um, and it's the M410 ULT. ULT stands for ultra light. Um, Ultra lightweight. Now I did. I was told actually to stay away from the ultra light body, and I'm not too sure why. Um, they do exactly the same shell um, in a little bit of thicker. Um, obviously, I'm not running it that hard, so I'm really hoping that the ultra light shell isn't going to be a problem for Craig to paint. If you know if that could be an issue, could you please put that in the comments for me? Um, because as a service, is quite new to me. So now I'm going to put pictures up of it. As you can see, this is what this shell looks like painted. 
um, two great pictures. But I want this in TRF style. Now, this car I'm showing you now is another one of Mark's cars. Now, that, that's, there's not a Tamiya chassis under that. And as you can see, that's one of the brand new, very low to the ground um, touring car shells. I think it's about 2019, 2020. So it's a slightly different shape from this one. But I want to kind of copy the colours and the detail on it. And um, Craig's quite happy to give that a go. So I think that thing's going to look absolutely epic, if I'm honest. And then the next thing I got from Yoro RC are these um, Team Corelli um, racing slicks. Um, high end, top rubber, pre glued already. Um, same fitment as, as the Tamiya wheels. So that is absolutely superb. Obviously, I, it's going to sit on the shelf at the beginning. But um, when I do come to run it, this is going to be absolutely awesome. I think I went for um, Tarmac. I'm pretty sure I did. I think we did two versions I did Tarmac and Carpet pretty sure they're um, the tarmac ones which but we will that's where we will be running it and then finally if you're going to run it you want to put the correct motor in it don't you look at that a huge humongous shout out to graham milligan my buddy in scotland who sent me this um as you can see it's a team of ryan v10 motor but it's actually the uh, mark reinard world's edition this motors we believe it's about 2005 um, absolute crazy wind it's a 10 turn single so that thing is going to literally be ballistic but what a cool motor to put in it um, now it's a shame actually because not long ago I had the Transpeed MS version of this motor which was the actual one used in this car again I think it was a 10 turn and I had the um, MS um, speed controller for it anyway I sold those because I didn't think I was going to use them so I may well be on the lookout again for the um, either the MS speed controller or the one they did later around about 2007 which was a TRF one they're basically kind of the same no limit um, forward only but um, yeah now I've got this I, I need a tasty um, speed controller to put in the car when it's finished but um, yeah absolutely mega happy with that find so that's it guys um i don't know if touring cars are your thing but to me this is a right find and as i've just talked about earlier once i get that body sent off to craig and he works his magic and um it's, it's going to have a little bit more of a modern feel to the shell and then we've got all the decals to put on it to make it look like a proper sort of racing car but maybe put add some numbers on it as well um, and this is going to take pride and joy obviously we will run it when um, eventually I mean that motor's a 10 turn what is it a 10 single so that's going to be ballistic but um, it will be really nice to run that car with this motor in it on the 2S I mean that thing is going to fly in. and while it's flying it's going to look superb anyway I'll shut up so once again guys thanks so much for watching it's massively appreciated if you are new to this channel if you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us and if you do that, smash that notification bell for our weekly videos. And as always, guys, happy RCing. Mm -hmm.